Hi guys, so what I'm going to do is a series of videos on how to collimate one of these types of telescope. This is a Ritchie Chrétien 8 inch version. Um, made In this particular example, it's made in, in the UK, a company called Altair Astro. It's the carbon fibre version. <clears throat> it's a very, very nice system. Um, in the US, I think you can get these by companies called Astrophysics. Uh, and I think they're marketed by Telescope Express in, in Germany as well, by some other brand as well. Essentially, they are all rebadgers of a same design, which is made by GSN or Guangsheng Optical out of China. You know, these, these things are really, really nice. It's amazing how they can make them for the money. They're built to a certain level <clears throat> of um, certain level of a budget by default this one has got an upgraded focuser on it bar the planetarium one in the uk and what i've also done is added this thing here which is a collimation plate to allow independent adjust uh, focus adjustment between the focuser and the primary mirror for collimation purposes right so what i'm going to do is a, a series of videos on this and the best ways that i've found to get these this thing collimated now that other people may have better ways to collimate it. Maybe some people might disagree with my method. You know, at the end of the day, you know, this is just me and my methods, right? You know, I'm not going to get bent out of shape about it if anybody disagrees with me. This is one method. You know, you, you're not you're not going to be more attractive to the to the other sex by by following any one method or the other. Who cares? These are methods that I found work well with this telescope and ones that I thought it would be nice for me to share them because there's a lot of confusion about this particular type of telescope and how we get it collimated. Um, collimation, of course, is a technique to ensure that all of the optical surfaces are in correct correlation with each other to give a best possible image from the telescope. Uh, the RC8 design, believe it or not, the Hubble Space Telescope is exactly this type of telescope. Only, um, only very much bigger and uh, rather more expensive. But the design is exactly the same. Richie Chrétien's very flat field when you uh, use them for photography. Very uh, large central obstruction too, which means they're not ideal for visual astronomy. They're all right, don't get me wrong. I had some quite nice views of Jupiter through this. Some nice views of um, M81 and M82. Uh, Bode's Nebula for those who are interested and it's it's a nice it's a nice scope but its ideal purpose is for as an astrograph for astrophotography okay so that means that this needs to be collimated to the best possible capability or, or to the best of our abilities and that's what that's what I'm going to do in, in a series of videos I'm going to show a method just using this here which is a Cheshire collimator and that method works perfectly well. Okay, very, very well indeed. In fact, surprisingly well. I thought, now you, surely you can't get one of these things collimated just using something that costs, you know, 18 pounds in the UK or 30 bucks or something like that, or 30 euros, less than that probably, 25 euros. But you can, and um, I've done it many times. You can get it very done very, very well with this method. So this is the, the, the tried and tested way of doing collimating one of these scopes. However, there is another method as well using um, Howie Glatter laser collimation device and I'm going to discuss that method too. So without further ado, let's um, let's get on let's get on with it and uh, let's let's get collimating. I'll see you later. <laughs> 